In this video, we're going to look at how we classify igneous rocks. And if you remember from an earlier video when we did an introduction to rocks, I said that one of the ways we classify rocks is by their chemical composition, meaning what elements or what minerals are they made of. And that definitely applies to igneous rocks because with igneous rocks, we're going to put them into two categories based on whether they are felsic or mafic. So two different categories of igneous rock, felsic or mafic, and this is based on what elements they're made up of. So let's take a look at felsic igneous rock first. With felsic igneous rock, the first thing we're going to notice is they're going to be generally lighter in color. As opposed to mafic igneous rock, which are going to be darker in color. Felsic igneous rock is going to be rich in. Now when I say rich in, what I mean is it's going to have a lot of aluminum, potassium, silicon, and sodium. Whereas mafic igneous rocks are going to be rich in things like calcium, iron, and magnesium. So what this gives us is two different classifications of igneous rocks based on their chemical compositions. Now that we have a way to classify igneous rocks, we can look at some examples. We'll start off with felsic igneous rocks. So two really great examples of felsic igneous rock are granite and rhyolite. And you'll notice, just like we said with felsic igneous rock, they are lighter in color. Granite, you'll notice, has crystal grains that are visible. You can see individual pieces in the rock. Whereas rhyolite does not have visible crystal grains. So with this, we can further divide felsic igneous rocks into whether they are coarse-grained or fine-grained. This just helps us to describe what the rock looks like even more. So a full description of something like granite, we would say that it is a coarse-grained felsic igneous rock, and rhyolite is a fine-grained felsic igneous rock. Two examples of mafic igneous rocks would include the rocks gabbro and basalt. I like to use these two as examples because they do both represent the dark colored nature of mafic igneous rocks, but also shows that with mafic rocks we can also divide them down based on whether they are coarse grained or fine grained. The mineral grains in gabbro can be seen. You can see individual crystals inside of it. Whereas with basalt, the mineral grains are much smaller. So a description of gabbro would be that it is a coarse-grained, mafic igneous rock. And a description of basalt would be that it is a fine-grained, mafic igneous rock. Now one thing we can do is we can take all of this information about mafic and felsic igneous rocks and put it into a table. This table then represents those four different types of rocks that we just discussed. We see our felsic rocks that are coarse-grained like granite or fine-grained like rhyolite, and we see our mafic rocks that are coarse-grained like gabbro or fine-grained like basalt. And this just makes uh, a useful way to kind of display that information that we've just collected. So what we've learned from this is that we can take igneous rock and divide it down into two categories, felsic or mafic, depending on its chemical composition. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in class.